good girl, Hava. Wow, a thousand credits and a bit of ore? For being on a completely, you know, abandoned planet that's somewhat full of a desolate desert, we're actually pretty rich. But hello everyone, and welcome back to Falcon Age, where we are returning to base camp, aka the tent that we live in with our aunt, after having destroyed the largest refinery yet, Refinery Uva. That makes three of them and two outposts that we have actually taken apart from our robotic overlords at the Outer Ring Company. And now what we have left is Port Loop, and I'm a little nervous about what our aunt might tell us to do about that. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of rest. And, oh, good. Gather every single one of these cactus fruits for Hava. We're gonna make sure that she has plenty of food. Without her, we would really be missing out on being able to, you know, save the planet, save ourselves. In fact, let's go ahead and make her more treats really quickly. I know Auntie is probably in there, ready to send us to our near death yet again. But I want to make sure that we have everything prepped, just in case we do have to do another battle with her. There you go, Hava. You did so good last time. Really, making the samosas to be able to give her defense turned out to be an excellent idea. That defense really seemed to save her life. She took much less damage than before. And if we do go to the port and have to destroy it, then we'll definitely want to have more impact grenades, for sure. All right, how many samosas do we have left? One ultra samosa. Um, how many samosas can I make? Let's see, we're out of goat meat for the ultra samosas, but how many potatoes do I have? Well, I do have some horned melons. Is it horned melons or potatoes? It is actually horned melons that we need. I do have the wolf meat and wolf meat plus horned melon. That's what gives her that protection. All right. Hang in there, Hava. Excellent. All right, I can make at least a few of the normals, the normal ones too. All right, almost there, Hava. There, tough samosa, and one more tough samosa. All right, and hopefully that'll keep you safe, girl. But okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Auntie? Is anyone listening? Hello? I copy you. Who is this? I'm Ara. Oh, it's you, the niece. I'm... Never mind who I am. That doesn't matter. I'm the spokesperson for one of the other resistance cells. That's all you need to know. Um, why are you calling? Smart girl. Although I guess that's your problem. You're too smart for your own good. The Outer Ring Company took your aunt, and they're planning to ship her off world. <sighs> Alright, and? And nothing. This is where you mourn her for a little while and then go be a good girl. The Outer Ring Company agreed to leave us if we stopped causing them trouble. Uh, I mean, this is wrong. You can't let them take her away. It's not a question of ethics, girl. It's about doing what's right. If we go after Arangandi, Arang I want to get it right. Erangani, then it will ruin everything, and then we all die. I know this must be hard, girl, but trust me, this is better for everyone. I don't know about this, so they took our aunt, but they said if we leave, let them take our aunt as one of the resistance cell leaders, they'll leave us alone. But I don't, I, I think they mean don't go after more people more aggressively. I don't think they mean leave the planet. I think our aunt would be willing to sacrifice herself, she's definitely willing to sacrifice me at least, if it meant to save the planet, but I don't think that's what that means. If you know where she is, you owe us that much. This is what happens when you don't have a father in your life, I suppose. No one to teach you manners. That's a little uncalled for. Get upgraded gear from Ahsoka. Your aunt is in Port Loop. If you insist on trying to save her, you should probably talk to Ahsoka about getting better equipment for that bird of yours. Not that it matters. You you and your aunt, you're nothing next to the company. How do I turn this off? What? What? I told you everything I will tell you already. Oh, because she'll just keep talking? Okay. 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 All right, Hava. Well, we need to go talk to Ahsoka. We need to get upgraded gear from him. We need to rescue Auntie. 
I think we can handle all of those things. Let me think this through. All right, we need to go to Port Loop and save Auntie. Ahsoka, gear. All right, this is not ideal. Not ideal at all. But you know what? I think if the Outer Loop Company is already not restoring, just in case I'm gonna have this ready, all the refineries and just kind of wants to punish one of the resistance leaders. Maybe there's a little bit of hope that we're going in the right direction. Ah, dang it. Those lizards are never going to let Hava hunt them. <laughs> They're far too wily for that, it seems. Oh! Oh! Hava! You got a lizard tail! Just as I was saying, they were too wily for that. Well, good job, girl. All right, so we did end up with some lizard meat. Maybe we'll cook that for Hava later. I really feel like I have to think this through a little bit because, and let's get some goat meat because that's gonna help Hava a lot. All right, Hava, you know the drill. All right. Oh, so sad. Sorry, little one. Just the way things are. There's something over here, apparently? What's this? Oh, we can send her to dig something up. Oh, there's something buried in the sands right here that we can have her dig up. That's right. We can have her start finding all of those. All right, so she found that. And while she makes this goat very mad... There she goes. All right, so she's got that food now. Sorry, goats. I promise this has to be, like it does feel very dubious because you're so certain that you're doing the right thing, but you also feel so ineffective in some ways. Like is anything I'm doing, does it really matter? Am I just making things worse for everybody? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? That's what I thought, little guy. I was worried we would make things worse. But I mean... I don't know if I could have just dealt with not doing anything either. Alright, Ahsoka? What'll it be? Security has gotten tougher outside of town. I'd say. Alright, give me some upgraded gear, buddy. Let's see what you got. Alright, so I definitely would need a lot more impact grenades from him. What else does he have? Digging claws to dig up buried objects faster. Noted, noted. What other kind of gear? Oh, over here. Shock resistance with damage bonus. Beaks, beaks do more damage. Let's see. Does he have anything else? No. I probably want that. So let's actually sell. Let's see. What can I sell? Will he buy it? No, he won't buy that. Okay. Let's see. What do I have to sell him really quickly? All the way back here. All of these that we dug up. He can have the discarded landmines. He can have the pelts. He can have the robot parts. I really almost paid in my own blood for those, so I hope he appreciates them. He can have all of the ore, because it's very valuable. And I've got a couple of rabbit meat that I have to actually give to a guy here. Oh, I don't have as many of those as I thought. But I can sell a couple of potatoes and gourds. All right. I mean, we're gearing up to go rescue our aunt, so we need to make sure that we have plenty. All right. Let's see. Let's get this. Shock resistant beak with damage, bonus damage. And let's give that to her. All right, there you go, Hava. <laughs> you look awesome in green. We can sell him the old one. And let's see. Sell this one. There we go. So now we're at 531. Hmm. Let's go check on the farm. I kind of think I want to get her the digging claws too, but I don't know if I can. Also, this guy wanted the rabbit meat. Dude, you have some meat for me. Most excellent. 
I want you to have this. It's a vegetable that used to grow around here. I tried growing it, but it didn't work for me. I'm more of a bunny whisperer, but you might have better luck. A turnip! He was hiding a turnip from the village people the whole time. We could have had a turnip to like, I don't even know what we could have done with it because I can't remember the recipes at the moment, but we could have had a turnip. Oh my gosh. Oh good, and more potatoes so that we can go ahead and make some more protective samosas. But a turnip, oh, it, oh my gosh, that turnip is beautiful. And those increase stealthiness when they're cooked. Uh, horned melon are good for defense, potatoes for speed. I want more horned melon actually. And I think, there we go. Red peppers I can actually cook for some more health boost as well. Here are the gourds. There we go. Grow a few gourds. Look at the parsnip! Oh, you have like a big daddy parsnip and then you have a whole bunch of babies that start growing. That's ridiculously adorable. I love that. But all right, so let's think about this. What do we have on Hava right now? We have got on her the shock damage beak and the normal digging claws, which I think should be okay as long as she doesn't have to dig up landmines while we are also fighting off robots. Oh man, look, Vasuki's starter leather and her bells, the very same, same items that our aunt had for her falcon. Yeah, I don't think I could just hold those and shrug while Auntie was trapped, but look, even if Auntie didn't come to rescue us from the prison, I guess she thought we could learn a lesson there. Even if she didn't come for us, well, we're not our aunt and we're not our mom. And we'll definitely, we'll definitely rise up where they let us down. All right, I'll go harvest all of those in just a minute. It's going to be a long run up to the outer loop. And something tells me we might not be here after that, so... All right, buddy. I'm going to want basically... All that I can get from you... In terms of these grenades. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should hopefully be enough. Sixteen. Yeah, that should definitely probably be enough. I mean, we started out as a girl escaping a prison and carrying a tiny little baby fluffy falcon with us, feeding it some of the human food pellets that we were given in said prison. And now here we are, loading up with bombs, loading up with stealth gear, ready to go blow up some robots and save our aunt. Look at the beat. Oh, it's so cute too. All right, just want to make sure. We'll leave some of the rarer food that I'm having trouble growing here. And then, there we go. One potato. All right. Bye, little garden. I might see you again later. <gasps> Look! He's got new things to juggle. This toy made from feathers is a rare toy from another time. Perhaps one day, there'll be plenty of birds in the sky again. That bird you've got there, it's pretty rare these days. There's hope, though. I see more crops all around. Crops for people and wildlife. Maybe entertainers like me will be useful again when basic survival needs are met. For now, I'll just keep practicing my tricks. Here's more stuff for your bird to play with. Oh! I think we ended up with even more! Like, what happens? Oh my gosh, look, 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 look! Oh my gosh! Hava! Feathers! What do you think of these? Oh, that's so cute! Hala, you're adorable. I love you. Oh my gosh, wait, there's more? Look at all the stuff he gave us! He gave her a ton of things! Maybe for unlocking all of the new fruits. Oh my gosh, Hava. You've gotten swole. Look at all of these! So he gave us all of these to thank us for getting more fruit so that he could actually do more juggling. <laughs> the benefits of unlocking uh, vegetables. So I love that. That's kind of a way of the people of the village to kind of thank us for all of the extra farming they've gotten a chance to do. That's awesome. 
But all right, I think we're loaded up on enough bombs and the new gear for Hava. So hopefully she can do some damage while being able to avoid the shock resistance. And now, well, let's head up to the port and let's do our best to go and save our aunt. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Hava and I and our mission to go rescue Auntie. Even if she didn't come to rescue us, we'll rise above that. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.